Hey up YouTube, Ryan Paul Troy, the Yorkshire filmmaker here and I am out in Haworth where I'm going to be the 1940s weekend and uh, it looks absolutely fantastic, people dressed up, people going out but before all that, roll those titles. Boom! So as you've seen, we've got a few little bits of bats and as you saw, a bit of an editing technique there. So I'm going to go through and show you now how I've edited this together. Uh, using the music, uh, using different transitions and also using little bits of different techniques. So yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of a, uh, a video to show you how to make something look in the 1940s. Now, these are opportunities that anyone can use. This is something that's going on, it's a free event that you can go around, you know, there's loads more over. You can go to Steampunk, 1960s, 1940s, 1950s, it's all different ones. So, if we're going to go back to my desk and I'll show you how we edited this, so uh, let's go. So yeah, I'm going to show you how uh, I edited this, so let's, let's just jump straight into the Mac and I'll show you and uh, I'll give you a bit of a talk through of uh, how I did it as I did it. So basically, this is the uh, the Adobe Premiere Pro. If you're not familiar with this, well then go out and check some um, sort of stuff on there. But this is uh, what I want to look at here. This is the new um, color wheels on Match. Now, as you can see, you've got a compromise window here. Um, if you look and you can click where you want to. So for example, I'm going to use this uh, video on the left and I'm going to check it to the video here on the right. Just click Apply Match, it analyzes it and it matches the look so you can go through each and every single video uh, and apply this match which then color corrects each video to the video that you're using as your um on your left which is quite quite a cool tip to have especially if you're going out and you're doing a lot of shooting and your, your color correction especially if you've got a bit of um you're off with your um your whites a little bit your white balance you know you can always correct it to something that adds the same white balance later on which can save a lot of time um, and it does make it a lot easier when you're coming through so yeah one thing that i like to do is um create a uh, an adjustment layer so do an adjustment layer click on this uh, little button here go on an adjustment layer click on it uh, just keep it as all the details that'll keep it as drag and drop it onto where you need extend it now with this we're going to be using um the faded um that's built into um thingy but first go through color correct uh, apply the match to this it'll apply the match to all the videos because some for some reason you can't just copy and paste it to all of them which is a bit annoying so you go through get a bit of basic color correction there's a lot of free stuff i've downloaded some um, online um you can get loads of free ones out there you can buy ones online um but you, you've got loads that you can also use that are built in as well so if you go through choose i use this um, canon log which i downloaded uh, for 20 odd pound um and that, that has a few built-in looks as well which is really good uh, so go through you can color balance each every section you know the what you can do with this is absolutely amazing and to say it's all built in as well is just fantastic so i'm gonna go through and just give a little bit of a change on here so i'll uh, i'll speed this up for you making sure that every little bit uh, is is all right you see with this perfect image the white balance is on there so I can click out on there and change it so again put this adjustment layer on this adjustment layer I can uh, can white balance it every single image with this one image here because the, the white there is perfect so now as white balanced all the images uh, and you know it makes it look a lot more uh, uh, easier quicker and especially when you're doing stuff like this now if you've got your effects, your presets, it has loads of built-in presets. Uh, the Luminar Lumatri presets are some of the amazing. I want to use the uh, cinematic uh, cine space. Now, I want to use a faded film 100. You see, the reason why I'm going to use this one first is because it sort of just drops it, but you can go through and change any little bits and bats that you want to change. Um, so if you go up to your little mattress groups, you can see each colour balance, where it all goes, which colour is there, which colour you need, etc, etc. Uh, and it's really good to, if you can read those, to read them. Now the high dynamic range, I I don't really use it too much. Well, it would help if I uh, 
was clicking it on the right one. <laughs> the high dynamic range, as you can notice, it, it changes it back and it does give it a really, um, a lot nicer look for a final product but for this at the moment i'm not going to use it so i'm going to go through and change this i'm going to try adding uh, another one of them to see what sort of does i really like that it's quite nice um let's see i just take that off now because i don't need it put it on full because my mac is a little bit slow it's a 2012 model so it does uh it does take it in but i'm going to lower the opacity to 50 percent nah, that's too much so uh, let's put it up to 75, let's see what it looks like. I like that, that's nice. Multiply it, see if that, no, that doesn't work. Showing you there. No, I don't like that, it's got some weird flashing lights to it. It's not, not nice at all. See that faded film looks sort of disappeared, but it sort of gives it a nice underlay to it, I suppose. You see how it looks if I had uh, add more to it. So we'll uh, we'll change this look. We'll add a uh, let's have a look. Go with no art. No, let's go with gold. Let's go with gold brush. Let's see what it looks like. Mm, it sort of brings out the yellows a little bit. Let's change the intensity down. I really like the reds. The reds have popped really nice. This is the all shot on the Canon 5D Mark IV as well, which I uh, absolutely love this camera. It's absolutely amazing. Um, you know, I can't can't knock this camera at all. Let's uh, try adding a bit more of the faded film to this, see if that does anything. You see, the best thing about all this is it's just testing, you know, there's no nothing wrong. You know, this, this footage isn't the best footage I've ever taken, but some of it's really nice. I'm going to add uh, another uh, bit of brightness and contrast, especially to this um, image. I think I put it up to 15, so, uh, so let's try 6. 15 might be a bit too much. Hmm. Oh, that's, that looks okay. Let's go over. I'm going to add another adjustment layer. Um, to the top and what I'm going to do as well is I'll uh, I'll rename these adjustment layers so I know which one's which so this I'll call it um, main colour and then this one I'll call it uh, faded AJ obviously meaning uh, AL sorry obviously meaning adjustment layer so let's go back to here we'll go to uh, the Matrix Cinematic and we'll change that to the Faded 50. So this one is half what the other one was. And drop that on there. Actually that's quite nice. So I've had, we'll have a vignette to it because I think a vignette will, uh, I'll do it, let's go all that way. Oh no, so I did a bit white. I want it to be black. So what I'll do is I'll uh, take it down instead to minus 4.3. I'll try it minus five is a nice round number then. And then we're gonna we'll change the midpoint. Let's put it to 26, see if that does out. That's a bit dark, but if we give a bit of roundness and then feather it out a little bit. I should give it a nice sort of there we go, I like that. So let's have a watch and just make sure you always save your projects as well. Because one of the things that I've noticed that a lot of people do is they don't save the projects. I have mine as an automatic save sometimes, but then I also control um, command and S, you know, just saving it is the best way to go. Um, you know, so let's try a blend mode on this to blend this overlay. Um, not a soft light overlay, there we go. I like that, the yellow has really popped on that, really popped. You can tell the difference, so that's, so obviously that's with the faded off, uh, and that's the original image, and then that's with the colour correction, and then with the faded film added on, if it's, there we go. I say sorry, my computer was a little bit slow, it's still a 2012 model, so it could still be doing a few refinements, I think, to it, because it is a bit dark in places, so we need to go through and uh, refine each image, um, but yeah. 
uh, um, personally, I think it looks not too bad. Actually, that looks better. It gives it a bit more of a, a nicer. Just take off that overlay that it had on. That looks a little bit washed, and the skin tones are really bright, but again, it's having that 1940 sort of look to it. Let's just drop the opacity down to 80% to see if that, that makes it look a bit nicer. Well, oh, actually, yeah, that, that changes it quite a bit. Remember, this is on quarter as well, so... You'll see the, the the full one before just before this, and I'll, I'll put it on again after this so you can see um, what it looks like. But yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that indeed. <laughs> So yeah, that's it. So that's uh, this episode. So I hope you've learned something there from uh, from me this time. I'm going to be trying to shake up a little bit of what I do. Um, I was going to be doing a video last week on the lenses I used for the music video that I shot for Hassan and um, Shades with Poetic Justice, um, but I haven't been able to do that. Being busy with a few other projects, side projects, which I can't actually say anything about at the moment, but I will do as soon as I can. Um, but yeah, we'll. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I don't know what that smile was.